You're able to stay for two minutes? Let's say four over eight. All right. So four over eight is called the ratio. Four over eight is called the ratio. And if you wanted to honor the ratio, you could think of what it would simplify to, right? Can you tell me or anyone here what four over eight would simplify to, right? Four eighths is the same as what fraction? One half. There it is. I love it. I love the walk bys. <laughs> so it's one half. That's right. I wrote it over here for a reason. Because if you have a ratio that's the same, that's called a proportion. Okay? Can you think of other proportions that 4 over 8 is the same as? What is 4 over 8 the same as? What is 4 over 8 the same as? 3 out of 6. 3 out of 6. It's totally true. That's the same proportion. How about something bigger? 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Well done. Six out Homie knows. Homie knows. That's right. That was my question. I like the red glasses. Those are fun. Right, six out of 12. So as long as you have the same ratio, that's called a proportion, okay? So then the question would be as follows. What if I gave you Let's see if we have more ratios or more proportions, I should say. Two over three and 28 over 42. Does this form a proportion? Are these the same? Yes or no, are these the same? And he's like, nah, no, <laughs> not into it. What say you, my man? Are these the same? What do you think? It's not, it's not like jumping off the board, right? It's not like, ah, I know. That's why, that's why I put it. Question is if they're the same. So, you know, that's kind of an interesting question. Bye, bye. Are they the same, yes or no? You're feeling it? Okay, I don't know the answer yet. We're gonna find out together, okay? So some would argue that this can simplify. What can you divide top and bottom of this by? By what? 14. 14, let's do it. If you divide 28 by 14, what would you get? Two. Oh, oh, it's coming out. And if you divide, I wonder what it's gonna be. <laughs> I wonder. 42 by, what was the number? 14. 14, that's right. What do you get? Three, bravo. So does this form a proportion? It does, meaning, meaning that if you hit me on the phone and you're like, oh, yo, I just finished 28, 40 seconds of my job, of my project, or if I just ate 28 out of 42 slices, I'd be like, what's your name? Oliver, I say, Oliver, could you please stop being annoying and say two thirds, right? It forms the same thing. Now, can I introduce you to a different method? There's a different method, okay? I prefer your method, honestly, because it's intuitive. You divided both by 14, simplify our life. Some people, more like the school system, you could say, the school concept, it's not completely necessary to do it out here, right? This is called teach on the beach. So we don't, we're not in the school. They're obsessed with this thing called cross multiplication. I take it from UK. Is that where we're from? Yeah. Do they call it cross multiplication? There's a lot of your country folk passing by. I don't know what it's the UK just wants to stop and like you guys win the award for people that stop the most often. Honest to goodness. This is like the eighth video we're doing. That's pretty cool. So cross multiply basically means this. Are these two multiplied the same as these two multiplied? If they are, then it forms a proportion. The reason I like doing it this way, I like doing it, Oliver, your way first, was that we already know the answer. The answer is yes. We already know they're the same. We're just now exploring. Uh, what's up, 42 twice? 84 is right. So put that here in blue. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> applicable, right? And uh, 28 three times would be what? It would, it would. We already know that 28 three times would be 84, right? We can even prove it over here, 28 times three. There's some fun ways to do this, right? This is a more traditional way to do the math. But let's not do the traditional way. Let's not do the traditional way. Here we go, 28 times three. 
you know what 20 times three is? 60. I'm holding 60 in my hand, all right? 20 times three is 60. Now eight times three, what's that? 24. 60, 24, oh, yeah. Oh, look, 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 the look. What is that look? What is that look? You're surprised yourself at yourself? Yeah, I'm saying anyone can love math. You know, you just have to do exactly what you're doing. It's just take a second and be here. I did, I did it three times 30. I love three times 30. That's nice. What's three times 30? Notice I'm using my body. It matters, right? Three times 30 is 90 is right. So it's over here, 90, all right? But we want how many less threes? Two less threes, that's right. Three less would be 87. Three less would be 84. That's another way to do it, right? There's 30 threes, 29 threes, 28 threes. Bravo, something for everyone, right? All right, so cross multiply though is not so horrible because it really helps for when you're actually solving more high level stuff. So once we acknowledge that we're not bound to cross multiplying, we can actually employ it with two more, basically two more problemos. All right, I'm feeling that music. X over 12 equals two over three again. So multiple ways to do this. No need to actually cross multiply. Welcome back. I never got your name. Paige, welcome back, Paige. Let's let the math, yes, he's like infusing into his young mind. <laughs> so cross multiply would work here, but again, not as fun as three times what is 12 times four. Thus, whatever we do to the denominator, we give equal treatment to the numerator and then, oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, totally works. Times four in this direction. And we get what number? Eight, eight. All right, there you go. That's right, there's eight. So then we could do also do cross multiply for the next problem. You know what, let's do it here. Let's do it here. And then the next one. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, Oliver. Have a great trip. All right, take care. Uh, X, yeah, so we can cross multiply. Yeah, that's when we lose people. We lose people when we do the formula, hilarious. So we'll just go through the last one. X plus two over nine equals four over five. So in this last problem, basically of the day, yay math. Last problem of the day. So the demands cross multiply, right? I think it's a, it's a pattern throughout the day. The second I put up a formula or an equation, people bolt, people just bounce, you know? And uh, that's why this is so important. That's why. Math time. Want to do math with me? Yes? You want to? No, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Cross multiply here. I'm like so used to know by now, it's hilarious. Been rejected more times than my entire single days combined. <laughs> I don't take it personally though, like I used to. Times this equals five times x plus two, throw it down equals the same as nine times four. Paige, what is nine times four? Your old friend is back. 36, that's what we did before. Good job. This is called the distributive property. Five times X and then five times two. All right, we can bang that out. Five X. I think the universe is saying, solve that thing, baby. Just distributed the five to both of these. All right. You're welcome to join us. Want to do math? Do you love math? Yes? You totally love math. No? No, but you're smiling. So there's something, there's hope. There's hope. <laughs> Another rejection. <laughs> Equals 36. Minus 10. Minus 10. To solve for x. To solve for x, we get x by itself on both sides. Yeah, you love it. It's math time. Yeah, you do this in school? Totally do, right? This is called isolating the variable. So I uh, subtracted 10 on both sides. What would this be, young friend? 
36 minus 10. You're not terrible. You're actually awesome for being here. Sorry, 36 minus 10? 36 minus 10. 26 is right. We're one step away from solving this guy. 5x equals? Uh, 26 Correct. Well, that's pretty much the answer, right? But we could actually talk about what that is. I give you a lot of credit for hanging out as we conclude this problem. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, what? Mia. 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 Thanks for hanging, Mia. It's like she wanted to do it, but she had to leave. Let's talk about what remainder means. 26 over 5. How many times does 5 go into 26, friends? 5. Five. There we go. We're back. Yeah. 5. And how many fifths remain? 1. Well done. Well done. Where are you from? You from around here? Vegas. That's a good... This is a standard night of fun in your neck of the woods too, right? This is what people do out and about on the street? You're, okay, yeah, you like it. Yeah, it likes you too. It's totally true. Five and a fifth. And the point of doing this cross multiply method, thank you. The purpose was that we wouldn't really know readily available that X is five and a fifth. That's kind of cray. You wouldn't really think that. So we do. Oh, you know about the channel? You know about the website? Show love. What's up? So, you know about yaymouth.org? Yeah. That's awesome. I got you through Peacock. That's Save awesome. My life. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Robert. Nice to meet Gabby. you. Hey, Gabby. Nice to meet you. Thanks for thanks for saying hi. Awesome.